three, three, two, two, one, one. Got a blast! What is going on my people how is everybody doing and how is everybody feeling and today my people welcome back to another video and in today's video i have a special center build for you all today today i'm going to be showing you all how to create an incredible hassan white side so first things first right i'm gonna give you guys two different versions of the build that is gonna allow you to dominate on the court like hassan whiteside used to do when he was in the nba okay so listen if you don't know who hassan whiteside is you need to click up this video and just type in hassan whiteside highlights and you are gonna see how dominant this man was all right so this man was a rebounding machine he was at the like a great defensive anchor he got like 12 blocks in a game uh, he had like nine blocks in a game he got this one game where he went he had 29 points 20 rebounds and nine blocks you know what i mean he went crazy like he has so many highlights where he's just going crazy um you know he has games where he he, he went with uh for uh, 10 blocks trust me the man is just you know he's he's a great player so what you want to know is that with a build like this, the important thing about a Hassan Whiteside build is the defensive presence, the rebounding, and being able to finish at the rim. All right, so first things first, right? Hassan Whiteside, right, right hand, jersey numbers 21. We're making a center, of course. Um, so you want to go to... So the, the first one I'm going to show you is the 99 block version. And then I'm going to show you another version that i think is just going to be as effective so you want to go seven foot you want to put that weight up to 265 and then you want to go to a seven seven wingspan all right so first things first for the uh, physicals we're going to a 60 on the speed that's going to be very important and then we're going 50 on the acceleration it doesn't make sense to go 63 and it doesn't make sense to go 51 so we should just save on some attributes so 50 uh so 60 50 is probably the most balanced so we're gonna go 86 on the strength that's gonna get the job done for us on the vert we're just going with a 70 on the vert um i gotta test this out like i don't know if um we should have a higher vert maybe we go into like 80 but you know i'm gonna just leave it at 70 stamina at a 95 all right, that's gonna be more than enough to get the job done. All right, so we're gonna be back to the uh, defensive, playmaking, shooting and all that. Close shot, we're going with a 71 on the close shot, all right? So that's gonna give us the fast switch, fearless, master, pro touch, giant slayer, spot finder. Uh, then we're just gonna go 50 on the layup. Uh, we're gonna go 60, actually, let me see, it's gonna allow us to go, okay, so yeah, 60 on the driving dunk, and then, um, we're gonna go 81 so we could get rise up on silver with the precision dunker and area wizard then we're gonna go with a 81 on the post control all right 81 is gonna give you that post spin technician so the finishing is gonna be solid so for me when i've watched her sign watch size highlights he wasn't like getting no crazy like driving dunks like a you know, maybe like a John Moran or something. He wasn't doing that. You know what I mean? He was just getting a rebound going right up um, and, you know, just playing great defense. So the amazing thing about this build is not only that you're going to have the inside game, I decided to go with an 80 on the mid-range shot. So as you can see, right, by going 80, you get a lot of great shooting badges right here. This is going to help you be able to hit a uh, consistent mid-range. He wasn't known to shoot threes, so we're not messing with the threes, but let's say, you know, you want to activate your sharp take. This is going to be crazy because now your mid-range goes to a 90, and now you're going to be able to, like, cook up a little more. Free throw, I just went 75, so you could hit free throws at the rec. Now, he wasn't a crazy passer. Uh, if you watch his highlights, he literally was just, you know, grabbing a rebound and, and passing it to the closest man to him nothing too crazy 
we're going to go 85 interior defense, all right? 85 is going to be more than enough to get the job done. Um, and that's also because we need an 85 interior so we can get the uh, 99 block. All right, so the perimeter, he wasn't a great perimeter defender, nothing too crazy there. But I definitely went with a 60 just so we could have that interceptor. The block is going to definitely be 99. So, like I said, when I watch a lot of his highlights and when I used to watch him, you know, hoop on the court, this man had a lot of, um, he had a lot of blocks, man. He could get a lot of blocks. He could go, like I said, for 12, 9, 10 blocks a game and just going crazy. Um, so, yeah, or not a game, but, you know, from time to time. So, you want to go 85 on the offensive. By going 85, that gives you the box out beast on gold. Um, now, we're going to go 93 on the defensive. All right. So, by going 93, we could have saved, actually. We could have saved uh, because we're not going to be able to get the, um, what you call it, the box out beast Hall of Fame. So, baby... Yeah, let's see. So if we go 92 here, maybe we can go. I think this is when we can put the vert up. Okay, the vert. Actually, the vert to 74 might be great because as you can see, that chase down. So we're going to do this. And then we're just going to probably put the rest of the free throw at 76. So this is the first build. All right. So this is the first Hassan Wasad build. This is a 99 block Hassan. Hassan Wasad. I think this would be crazy on the court. You know, you'll be able to do exactly what you would want to do. All right. So after we do that, um, of course, we're not going to get the shades of Hassan Wasad. Um, I don't even think that he's even in the game, if you ask me. Um, but the dope thing is, you know, we get the defensive anchor and the shades of it is amazing. I mean, you got all this Gilmore and stuff like that. So that's going to be the first build now, right? Um, I'm going to show you the second build. The physicals is the same, of course. Everything else is the same. So now look at this, right? This is going to be a nice one. To me, this is more of a balanced build in terms of um, just the rebounding and the interior defense and the strength. So first things first, 95 stamina. Again, that's going to be amazing to have. I'm going to go 95, the vert. Uh, we're going 70 on the vert right here. The strength, we're going with a 90 strength this time, all right? 90 strength is going to be great, and you're going to see that. 50 and 60 on the acceleration and the speed. So we're keeping that the same like the last build. So as you can see, so the difference with the first one and this one is that now you have a 90 strength. So that's going to be great. Uh, the vert is at a 70. But now, instead of having a 71, we're going to go with an 81 on a close shot. So you see, by not having a 99, now we're able to put the attributes in different other categories and make it more dominant. Uh, driving layup, I just went with a 60 on the driving layup. And as you can see, we still get some pretty decent badges. Um, Two-step and flow game on bronze. Now we're going with a 55 on the driving dunk. Right? Then we got to put that vert back up. Now, to continue, we're going with a standard dunk of an 82. Okay? So, um, that's why I just put the rest of the attributes. I could have just went 81, but I just put it here. You know? Um, and let me see. Maybe. Can I still get the... All right, so I'm going to have to probably, nah, let's just, let's just go back to how I had it. All right, the driving dunk, 55. All right, cool. Post control, 81 is still. We def definitely go with the 81 post control. Postman technician, dream shake, and all that good stuff. Um, this one also is going to have a nice midi. So not only are you going to be a solid defensive anchor, getting rebounds, playing in the paint, uh, blocking shots, but you're gonna be able to get that mid-range shot going for you too. Um, the free throw, I went with a 75 again. All right, we're going 57. Um, this time around, that's gonna give you post playmaking and dimer. And then this build is gonna have a 90 interior defense. So 90 on the interior defense, uh, 40 perimeter, of course 60, so we could get that interceptor. The block this time is going to be a 92, my people, instead of a 99. But the rebounding is going to be beautiful. So look at this, 90 
and then this time on this build we get that 93 so we could get the box out beast on hall of fame so you have two options to be honest you can't go wrong with either build um i like that 99 block i'm gonna be honest with you but this one is a little more balanced in terms of you know being able to do a little more on the court but you can't go wrong with either build all right so as soon as you do that um these shades definitely change um as you can see right here but still you get the same two guys you know what i'm saying and then of course we get this time a two-way inside the arc threat. So it's really up to you how you want to do this. If you want that defensive anchor, then you go with the first one. If you want a little more balance in terms of the defense and the strength, then you go with this build. But either, either way, both builds are solid in my opinion, all right? So y'all let me know what I thought about this build. And until next time, much love.